<clears throat> Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Gemini Soul. This is about to be a love reading for you, Gemini. If you're not interested in love, then this may not be the reading for you. But if love's coming your way, you may miss a message, a guy message. All right, this is a love reading. I will do it extended to this. If it seems to resonate or you're interested in the outcome, definitely go over to the extended. It'll be linked down below. Gemini, I thank you for all your support. Hope everything is going great with you. I hope you're living your best life. And if you are in love or you've come to this reading because you want to know about your lover, hopefully the spirit will guide me to give you all the information that you need. Uh, in this reading that will help support you in any ideas or thoughts that you may have in this relationship. So let's just get straight into it. If it resonates, give me a thumbs up. If you just enjoy the way I'm doing the reading and enjoy the energy, support your girl by giving me a thumbs up for sharing my energy and taking the time to help wherever I can, Gemini. All right, Gemini, whoever you showed up to this reading for this person, let's What's their energy? Steam ray. Mm. Gemini, this person, steam ray for me is somebody that's moving forward. It also represents fast movement. Um, I feel that the person you're dealing with, Gemini, the way they're showing up in this connection may seem like they got a lot going on. Um but they're trying to get balanced because when I look at this thing, Ray, I think about the chakras, all the chakras being balanced. And somebody is trying to bulldoze through the fact of balancing out their emotions, how they feel about you, what it is they may need to do. I also feel somebody may be doing some things that you're not aware of. And maybe they're not sharing everything with you. But I am definitely hearing there that you are on their mind. Now, this person could have been going through a very difficult time, whether it's releasing from an old situation to a new, and not necessarily that it's a relationship. It could just be things in their life that they're trying to balance. Because again, as I'm looking at this, it's like this person is mm, I'm also hearing this person has that eye on the target and you are the target and you may feel there's a lot of movement happening but you may not feel you have enough information or that this person is really sharing with you what it is that they're doing. But I feel that if you are definitely, if you're in separation, this person is definitely trying to balance out things around them, trying to come up with, and this is what I'm hearing, trying to come up with a master plan. And we're going to get more into your person's energy, but the steam brain... So you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or this person is just very much in their emotions when it comes to you. <sighs> I'm hearing whatever this person is doing, it is because of the emotions they have for you. If something had to change in their life or they had to balance things out, They're doing something that takes a, um, it's at a fast pace. Something they're doing at a fast pace. Now it could be the job, it could be um, setting up things that you're not aware of and they're trying to do it quickly. I'm also hearing this person may also have fears 
that if they don't do it quick enough, they may not be able to get what they want out of this connection. And I'm hearing what they want out of this connection is magic. I don't know what that means. Maybe you understand. Maybe they're a manifester. Maybe they're spiritual. Maybe they understand the connection between the two of you. And they understand that they have to get balanced and solid to have this connection with you. How do you feel about this person in this connection? Zebra. You're very intuitive. But you showing, I feel Gemini, you showing up and being true. Like your third eye is open to this connection. You may even feel like there's a spiritual bond. You may even feel like you got, what is it? Like telepathy. Like, you can connect with this person even when you're not around this person. But I'm also hearing you would like for the person to show up differently in some type of way. But your intuition is also telling you that it's a strong possibility this is what this person could be working on. Yeah, because uh, I'm hearing a divine connection. If you look at the stingray, it has all the colors lit up, like manifesting, rainbow, happiness, ten of cups. And you have the triangle representing you in uh, the zebra, and that triangle also has all the different colors in there, like manifestation, Happiness, Ten of Cups. So I feel, Gemini, you know exactly what you want with this relationship. But the way you're showing up is different than they've ever... Uh, I'm feeling like the way you're showing up is different, right? The zebra has striped. Like, the zebra just who they are. And they don't have no intentions of hiding their stripes, right? Like, and whatever you're seeing or feeling about this connection is heartfelt. It's like you feel like there's something that could give or have, that you could have your Ten of Cups in this connection. And your person feels the same way. But your person feels there's some type of movement or something that they have to do for this connection to come Full circle is what I'm hearing. I'm also feeling like you're looking at it head on, but Gemini, you have some doubts if this is what you truly manifest. Now, your card is the magician and you've been manifesting and rather it's Manifesting this relationship or you are now manifesting a connection that could get you to the Ten of Cups that you can deal with. And I feel like you actually have your eye on this person or your feelings are set on this person. It's like you're rooting for them. You're rooting that they can get balanced, that they can move through it. I'm also feeling that this is a, a relationship, a situation that you've never felt before either. And you may truly be using that third eye or it's lit up. And something feels different about this relationship. And I also feel like you feel like intuitively your mind is telling you certain things but your heart's telling you a certain thing and you're trying to like put all the pieces together in the puzzle i don't know but i'm also hearing divine timing 
Like you both could be working on something. But even though you, if this is, especially if this is a, a situation where you guys are separated or maybe you went into separation, it's a strong possibility that this is coming towards you. You haven't even met this person yet. And this is what the divine is preparing for you. And this person is very much, what you call it, a mover, mover, shaker. Like, this is the person that sits still. This is a person that has a lot of energy. And with it being a water sign, very emotional. Now, it doesn't have to be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It's just, it doesn't matter where they sit at this time. They have a lot of emotions for you. I'm also feeling like, Gemini, you having a hard time, like, accepting the movement in this situation. And I feel like it's because you just don't want to make the mistakes that you've made in the past, that you've healed so much, you've worked on so much. You're a little skeptical, but I feel that that third eye is open, that intuition. And, you know, not necessarily if it's the third eye. It's like your intuition is telling you, like, Mm, something feels different here, you know? Like, what is it? And I think you can't put your hand or finger on it, as, however it is, but you got your eyes set on it. But this connection definitely has something to offer you, even if it's a lesson, Gemini. Let's see what your person has to offer you in this connection. Because the same range, they get in balance and they're working on some things. What do they have to offer you? You have the crocodile and the beaver. This person. Because the crocodile speaks of a time of all the excitement calming down. Whether it was disappointment, confusion. And I see the crocodile is like, to me, as a reader, like the Ten of Wands, like releasing the burdens and then coming to a calm state after releasing so much. And the Bifa represents wanting something different and working very hard to get it, like repetitiously, like someone who's like sees what they want. Or it's like the Ace of Wands has been given after the Ten of Wands, dropping the burdens. Then the Ace of Wands is seen. The Ace of Wands is not only having the passion for a situation, but putting the work in. It's like, okay, I understand that I have certain things I have to work on. I have to get in order. I just see this as a person that's in a calm state, but yet doing a lot of work. Right, because the beaver, right, makes that dam and it just keeps on building and building, just has no end to the work on a daily basis. So your person could be a very hard worker. They job can be very intense where it's just go, go, go. Um, and and it's like they build a dam, like whatever it is, is repetitious, it's over, it's over, over and over again. But I also feel not only their job, but it's like coming down to put the work in for a better time with you. So this person has to offer calmness. So I feel like this is the type of person when they get off of work, all they want to do is like lay back and relax. Because tomorrow, it starts again, <laughs> like the beaver, the same, you know, it could be the same damn, the same job. That's a damn, I not, not like, like, like a damn, like, right, you know, water, that building. Um, also feel like this person is like, they work so hard and the crocodile is coming down from working so hard and peace and you're their peace they see you as their peace. 
And when they're able to have that peace, they're able to get back up and just keep going. Like, you're just strength. I also feel this is a person that doesn't give up. Like at the end of the day, you can't tell this person something isn't going to work <laughs> or that. Um, it, but I'm also hearing it, it, it could be uh, stubborn energy, too, because, you know, um, they just won't give up. They just keep going and going and. Uh, The reason they'll keep just going and going is because, like, literally, if this is thing right and this is balancing life, chakra, and moving forward and moving forward fast, as long as you're there to calm them, they can keep on going. Okay, as long as you're supporting them. And they know that you're there, they become calm and they can continue their journey. They can continue working on what it is that they're working on. Now, with the Stingray, again, I still feel that they are manifester. And when I look at this beaver, there's a lot of darkness and trees behind them, right? But over the top, there is a beautiful yellow sky, like the sun is coming up. So your person feels like, yeah, and if you look at the crocodile, look at the eyes of the crocodile, it's yellow, and then right over the beaver is yellow. So they work through the darkness every day or whatever they're working through. It's because they have their eyes set on the above outcome, the sun, which is you. This is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I know this ain't gonna resonate with all of you, but I'm just telling you what I see. Okay, I would rather claim it. Oh, we had another card fall out, which was the bat. Like I said, this is like the dark night of the soul. Yeah, this person is fighting hard too. Or not fighting, I feel working hard to come out of... Um, and we got, we got air here. We got water. We have earth too. So this, this person is more in their mind and their heart about you. So they're trying to come out of a place where Perhaps they don't see a lot of light and, 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 so I feel this person's in two worlds and it's balancing the yin and the yang, the dark and the light. And this bat represents, see how we have the dark towards the light? So your person may have been clouded thinking, foggy, stuck, stagnant. But there's something about you that this person is doing their, their best to fly towards the light, to move into the light. And I, I'm i feeling like you're part of the change. So this person is trying to make a change. And I feel that this change would probably be a change that people wouldn't agree with. That this person is... I'm hearing that. There's a change that leads them down the road to you. But there's also something that 
they know they have to heal within themselves. Maybe it's their confidence. And it's not going to be for all you Geminis, but this person almost feels they have to show up to show you they deserve you. That they don't um, feel you just see them. Or maybe, oh, okay, I get it. They don't, they feel you don't see what they're doing. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't see where their heart really lies, and it's with you. There is something that they have to work through, and it has to do with their confidence. It's a change. Okay. That's, so your person is hijacking the reading, Gemini. Where is your, let's see if anything animal spirit can get here with Gemini. Bear. Coming out of hibernation. Gemini, yeah, you've been holding back. Ooh, and the star card. And aren't you coming out beautiful, Gemini? You're different now. I heard that. You're so different. You're coming out of a place and time where you were so protective of what it is you needed to write. Okay, so when I look at the bear, bear is, it shows up like, you know, huge and scary and whatever. But at the end of the day, coming from hibernation is getting the things you need and going within, and maybe even keeping it to yourself for survival mode. Uh, and I feel that this was healing. I feel you've done some work on yourself, healing your emotions, healing what it is that you truly want in life. And I'm feeling this financial too, healing your financial uh, situation. I feel like you've been away for some time. Could be family, friends, jobs. You could have been out of a job. Don't have a job at this time. Um, but you've been holding on to what you always knew. And the bear represents coming out of that time, getting so much more clarity of where I've been. I can't stay anymore. I've got to change too. Right? So I feel that in this relationship, both people are going through a change, but yours is different. Yours is finally realizing that you, like, you do deserve happiness. You do deserve a relationship of joy. I'm not saying that everything's going to be 100%. You're just going to laugh and have a great time and there's never going to be any downtime because I feel you may be in a downtime right now. Of If you're not in the bear mode, you've got the clarity. Or got, I don't know. No. Receive the clarity, right? With the zebra, you receive the clarity that happiness is just outside of the cage that your emotions need to probably run a little wild right now. That you have, okay. I'm also hearing if you're holding down an empire, you have everything you need in there, except for the one person to share it with. Now, not just anyone, because you have the sun card. So that means in the magician, or you, your third eye is open. This means only wanting something that completes you, that balances you, that you can enjoy being with, that leads you to your Ten of Cups. I don't feel you're trying to move very fast with a situation, but I feel that you want it. Even if this situation isn't there, then the universe is telling you someone's working and balancing their self out and getting ready to show up in a connection with you. And you also are doing the same thing. And you may not even be aware of it. You may be just in your head or figuring out why you feel a certain way about a certain connection or 
it's been quite some time where you've been on your own. And if this connection is not there, then you're ready, right? Because you're coming out of hibernation. And the time in hibernation was clearly to see that you do want your Ten of Cups. You do, Gemini. And that's what you've seen in this time out that you've taken. If you've taken a time out, if you've walked away from a situation and not opened yourself up to relationships in a while, you are now, I also heard you are healing. Your, your confidence. And some of you say, I'm very confident. I'm this and that. Yeah, guys, we can have all the material in the world. But when I say confidence, the confidence to know that someone can come in and give to your heart respectfully and that you can engage in it and that I'm seeing like the nine of ones, you don't have to be protected and guarded because you've learned those lessons and you're tired of learning those lessons. You're tired of trying to figure out is someone really passionate or is they in love with you or do you uh, meet on the same level or will this relationship last and Jim and I because we're air signs we stay in our head about the future we may talk about we don't want to get married right away and we just want to date but we also want to know that the potential to marry is there like we don't want to waste time Right? So that's why the mind stays. And you may not be sharing this with this person right now, Gemini, or when this person comes in, you may not share this with them. But when you interview someone, you're looking for the Ten of Cups. And, and you, you know, I feel this may even be ego, right? Like, you don't want to tell a person right away, like, look, in the future, I plan to get married. In the future, I want this or I want that. Actually, which involves your Ten of Cups. This is how I'm seeing this Gemini. So you may not be sharing it, but you're definitely coming out of hibernation. And this bear <clears throat> is not playing any games. <laughs> you know, a bear is dangerous. It's serious. So I'm not quite sure who this energy you're connecting with. <laughs> and they may be the same right but you a bear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you jump in that water, you may have an upper hand. Depends on how emotionally set you are on this doggone Ten of Cups that you've been planning and taking time out to heal and reflect. I feel you even reflect on past relationships and you've been putting them puzzles together like, okay, now that you have your guards up, but the nine of, I'm telling you, the nine of ones keep showing up. It's like a wounded warrior standing there like, I will give, but please don't make me go to war. <laughs> I don't want to this time. It may not, like, I don't know, just I am feeling like you may be like, listen, I've let a couple walk away. <laughs> I'm not promoting violence or anything. But she's like, I have let a couple walk away because, you know, I had some things I needed to work on and get myself together. And I've been disrespected or used or uh, too far in and then tried to pull back or had to pull back. You've had some difficulties, okay? The nine of ones is you've been through some crap, okay? But you also learn from that, <laughs> And you know how it says, like, you've been through something, and now that you see the light, the truth in it, and you know what it is you want, you're like, listen, don't play no games with me because I've let others get away, and you may not be the lucky one, okay? Because, yeah, I don't know. Let's get out of that energy. <laughs> Gemini, know that you have learned lessons. And cross watchers, mm, Gemini's ready for the Ten of Cups, whether they're telling you that or not. But they're very intuitive and they're very protective because they stay in their head and now they're getting their emotions. Mm, you think the same ray or something. Try Gemini that's not in their head and in their emotions. We have control when we're in our head, but when we're in our emotions, mm, that's a little different, right? 
Is it? And then we got the starfish. So, Gemini, the way you're coming out is different. I feel that even the person that you're dealing with, they see you like a star. They see you different from what they've dealt with. Or this person that's coming in is going, it's like, I feel like, yeah. And then you have a Campbell. Yeah, this is like someone wants to, to fight. Uh, yeah, well, Gemini, I just talked about how you'll show up if something doesn't work. And hopefully you don't have to do it. But just like you've been in a dry place or drought, right? The Campbell is holding on to what they have. Just, you know, every day going through the everyday mundane, mundane situations, work, family, taking care of the kids, going to work, taking care of their empire, right? Um cooking, cleaning, bills, whatever, doing all of that, like a drought. And not a bad drought, but just been doing the everything. And now you're healed and you're coming out and you're looking different. You're feeling different. You've changed some things about you. Um, and I feel that um, what you've changed because the the capital is facing the panther. And that's like, there was a time you were angry you couldn't control yourself when it came to certain things you may have uh got out of control you may have lost your um temper you may have said things to people that wasn't very nice um but you've tempered that now if you've got it under control um and you, with the camel you're learning to hold back um but what you're holding back is the idea of if someone doesn't work for you, you don't have to be like so cutthroat towards their behavior. What you will do is just cut them out. Like that's how it is, right? Like you won't waste your time in that situation. Um, I also feel that this person again sees you very differently they may even see that you've healed uh maybe uh, Gemini, i don't know your story but you may have had anger issues in the past and someone couldn't deal with you i don't know and 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 but they didn't understand that you were angry because gemini's you will give too right the campbell you will just do enough to survive and when someone it doesn't show up in a connection or they show up in some toxic way after you've done so much. Yeah, you could become angry and out of control, but you've grown from that. With the star, you're, you're a different person now. Like, you know how to maintain your anger. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, just a scenario. Like, if you would just go off and confront somebody, bust car windows or get locked up or... Whatever it is, you've learned that it's not that serious. Like, you're so much more. And if this person doesn't see that you are a star, then you move on. You're controlling what it is you have to offer. And your confidence is so high right now. And I feel that this is what this person is attracted because I feel whatever you're doing, they, they see you very precious. Like, man... And it, I know you guys don't want to hear this, but I also hear that could be like somebody from the past looking at you like, whoa, Gemini's holding that down. Like, I screwed up. Um, or Gemini's changed. Or I even feel like somebody may even be saying like, I wonder if Gemini give me another chance. Or that's the Gemini that I want. Someone feel that you changed and the old Gemini was why they behaved the way they did. That's totally up to you, Gemini. You know your story. You know if you had a behavior problem or anger problem. Anger management is what I'm hearing. A lot of... Um, yeah. 
Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm getting, y'all. This is reading is pretty long, and I haven't even gotten to the other messages. Okay, let's get. Let's just see. We're gonna use uh, the tarot um, love cards. Let's see what message might this person you know ex coming in past person. Mm. Now let me tell you this is what this person has to say. Your perfection. This person sees you as perfection, Gemini. I told you that, right? With the star card. That's the star card, right? Different but perfect. Like no one can compare. No one can be a star. No one can look as good as you do after going through what you've been through and show up in a connection or show up as good and abundance and I'm feeling prosperity, smelling good, looking good, male or female, it doesn't matter. But the energy of I've got this, the energy of I'm different now, I've healed. Um, if I was an asshole, I'm not an asshole anymore. If... Um, I know this one, I'm definitely not dealing, right? Like, there was something in you that needed to heal, and you worked on that, right? That's that bear going within and just taking what it is necessary. But now you're ready to grow. You're ready to expand. You're ready to get out there and do what it is. And somebody sees this, and they see you as for whatever it is you're doing, Okay, it says, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attract, how I, how I attracted in someone's life, attract, I, hold on y'all, calm down. I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. And then this is what this says. Now, I know I be, you know, because y'all know I be needing my glasses and, and the lighting is in. I definitely don't have any lighting number but the lighting now. So, I don't got to explain all that, Gemini. Y'all just want the message. Okay, message. <laughs> all right. But your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you. But I'm forever grateful. This person is grateful they met you. They see you as a star. Y'all can read that. I swear to God, that is exactly what that card says is I read it to you. But this is how this person sees you, Gemini. And if it is not, if you're not in a relationship, somebody's on the outskirts working divine timing. And that's why that zebra is here. Your third eye, you know something's coming. You feel it emotionally because this Gemini is not in their head anymore. This is a Gemini coming out to get what is theirs, what they rightfully deserve from the healing and the changes that they made in their self and their life. And now it's like, rather this is I'm running right into a marriage or engagement. This is, I'm running into a commitment. I'm a, a commitment is coming. And rather this commitment is to continue helping you with your healing, to open up to love and care, and to really know that someone got their eye on you. And if not, they're coming. They're coming. And this is beautiful, Gemini. But someone's coming or well, someone is already there. You know your story, okay? Let's get a love. Wait, let's get one from you, Gemini. <laughs> let's get one from you, Gemini. What is it you truly want from this person in this relationship, Gemini? What have you learned? What is it you truly want? Mother wounds. What you learn or truly want. And it says, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now, I hate when I get these cards and I can get right through it. In my adult, I have challenges with connecting to divine feminine energy within me and ex ex externally. Within me and then externally. Um, beliefs from the family. Um, maybe a lot of your women, a lot of women or male, it doesn't matter. If it's, we're talking energy. When it talks about mother wounds, 
I don't see as like a wounding of hurt. What I feel is like um, it is a mindset. Perhaps you're a, a tribe of women that dealt with abusive relationship, alcoholics, um, or either uh, strong women in your family and they all stayed single because they wouldn't accept nothing less, right? Um, and, they, and you were taught that. You was taught, like, be strong and independent. Don't settle for less. Something doesn't work. You know you know what we're programmed with. And uh, Or you was in a, a situation where maybe your mom was being abused or um, just struggling to make things happen for you coming up. And these are things that you looked at and learned, right? Because as children, as we grow up, we, we learn lessons from... Uh, our parents, uh, our mindset, our higher commitments, what we'll commit to, what we'll allow, all that becomes part of us, even though some of us say, you know, like, I never want to be like my mom or I never want to be like my dad. It doesn't matter. They raised you, they birthed you, the blood's running through you, whether it's the ancestor for them, the passed on grandmother, father, grandfather, it doesn't matter, right? But these are wounds that you have now realize that you may have been looking at things differently and I feel in that bear and hibernation that time that you took time out where you were healing these wounds is where you figured out why you may have had a certain take on relationships and why you had to work on healing that part of you if it is a male because it, it just it doesn't matter male or female the male perhaps seen a lot of uh single behavior going on the father could have been married and right wherever the you know dad lays his hat is his home could have been a situation it could have been uh leaving the family leaving the home leaving the children and the mother or wife or whatever the situation is or uh dad drink a lot Dad was abusive or dad wasn't really there. Mom did all the work, you know, something like that. Or it could have been the other way. Mom stayed in the streets and dad had to take care of, uh, you know. So it all depends. But this is definitely healing wounds. I also feel this may be a strong energy for both sides because a lot of times the attraction of uh, these two people, as strong as this attraction look, there may have been wounds that was childhood wounds that both people had to work through, whether perhaps parents are living now or not living, but, but each person has worked through it individually. If the parents are still living, this may be the bond that really makes it solid because you'll be there for each other to uh, learn and accept that you have an opportunity to change things for you, your children, this relationship, how you see it, how you believe in it, how you trust in it, right? This is what I'm hearing. I know y'all have been just, but let's get, um, This is a love reading, so I'm just getting love cards. This is going to be an hour reading. I'm trying to keep it under an hour. What does this person have to say? I am better with my mind than my heart. So somebody is better with their mind than their heart. Gemini, unless you're dealing with another Gemini, it could be. Now, if it is, uh, you're dealing with an a, a air sign, then fine. But... Or Aquarius or Libra, but someone is better with their mind than they they are their heart. Gemini, I feel this is you. You feel that, and you should be. You're a Gemini. You're you're in your mind again. You talk about the future. You talk about where it is you want to go. You're planning for the future. You're always a couple of steps ahead of time. You try to plan for disasters and mistakes and setbacks. So you are always in your mind. But I feel at this time, you know, you're expressing to someone or someone sees that where you used to be always be in your mind, especially if this is someone coming back, that you're more in your heart now than you are in your mind. Yeah. 
That's how I feel. You may be telling somebody that, or someone sees that, or you that's the lesson you learn that you always in your heart. You, I mean, that I'm better with my mind than my heart. And maybe that's what you thought for some time. But now it's like you're balancing out the mind and the heart, right? The equal understanding of being able to listen to someone and be emotionally available for whatever their situation is, right? Without, okay, what I'm hearing is, Gemini, you're able to listen before speaking now. And listen before speaking now means you're getting down into the emotional part of it, like uh, giving a person a benefit of the doubt. Um, but you're still following your mind, your intuition. And I feel because of what you've been through, it's very easy for you to definitely get in your heart, but never forget where you came from and how strong you really are. I just don't think that whatever the situation or person coming your way, they're not going to keep you in your mind. And you may not even feel, if you're in a relationship right now, Gemini, you may even, you may not even feel like yourself. Like, this is not me. Like, what is wrong? Like, this is not how I usually show up. And you're learning and you're, you're, you're feeling that you're not so much in your mind about it, that you're feeling it. You're feeling passion. You're feeling love. You're feeling commitment. You're feeling joy. You're laughing a little more. Or that's what you want. And that's why you're coming out because... You want to get out of your head. You want to move forward with your emotions, but you want to. You can't ensure anything in life, Gemini, but you can ensure that the lessons and the patterns, that you don't condemn people for those things, and that you listen a little longer just to feel that other person's energy. That's what I'm hearing. That's so nice. And right, and then we have, I wish I could be, I wish I could be a different person. This is beautiful. I, I feel like this was all about the time you took out and, you, you know, and you wanted something different. And I feel you made a wish. You're manifesting like, I want to change in my life. I want to love. I want to be able and like i say it doesn't have to be that you're walking down the aisle right now gemini it's that you want to be emotionally i'm serious like some when some gemini's are have been hurt or and went through several situations that was disappointing it is the hardest thing to get back in their emotions it is the hardest thing to give people the benefit of the doubt because what happens is what we're powerful is, is our ability to cut conversations before they even start. And that's uh, protecting ourselves. So we use that sword to cut off things that immediately, sometime before we even get involved, especially if there's a wounded Gemini that needed to heal and, and their heart was either closed or wasn't healed. Like, nobody gets the benefit of the doubt because the head automatically says, listen, they're not telling the truth. Even if they're telling the truth, it's like, and then at some point, you just don't care, right? And you have a right for that. But this is not the Gemini. This is Gemini that did some work. This is a Gemini on a new journey. This is a Gemini that someone's coming towards you or someone's in your life and you just can't put your finger on why it's so different. You feel different, but you do feel good about it. You don't feel that you're fighting for this connection. You don't feel like you're in competition. And this person makes you feel or will, either makes you feel or will make you feel like, you know, that you don't have to worry about their love for you. That's just how I'm seeing it. Okay, let's see what your person has to say over here, Jimmy. I can't stop thinking about you. Now, either this person is there. I can't stop thinking about you means they, they already in your life. And under the bottom, it's all too much. 
Like, if they like, I can't stop thinking about you. It's all too much, Gemini. So they went through some things of healing too. But the reason they can't stop thinking about you because you're showing up like this. And this person is like, Gemini, I just can't stop thinking about you. I'm working hard. I'm making changes. Or I'm making changes and I'm coming straight towards you. Steam rate is quickly, like I'm making the changes as quickly as possible. Or the steam rate definitely could represent the divine sending this person directly your way. This person has done the work. It's just time out for this person to relax. It's time for them to get into their heart and have a wonderful, abundant, loving relationship with someone. And then this is someone the universe know will come in because you're perfection. And, and this is someone sees you like, or, you, you know, and interchange this energy because you could see someone that way, Gemini, could be coming your way. I mean, however this resonates with you guys. And I do have, it's all too much. It's like, I feel this is the overall, it's all too much. Like, the feelings, it's like... I'm feeling like this is like you won't be able to keep not only your hands off each other, but you won't be able to compare this relationship that is being built or has already been built with any other. Claim it, guys, if it seems to resonate with you. If it does not, it's okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into... Uh, part two of this reading. And I know this one has been long, but if you're in a love connection and this one feels good to you, and this is where you at and you want to see more about this, definitely click on the link below, Gemini. Uh, but if this is where we part, I wish you the best in this relationship. And um, yeah comment below if you're even feeling that or if you're in that mode or you're manifesting or you're waiting on it or it sounds like you definitely comment below or just give me a thumbs up and claim it this is where we part love and light and i will see you in your next reading gemini bye